Hi everybody, welcome back to my educational channel Edis English Literature. I am Ordhan Dude. Today we are going to discuss how to read and understand different aspects of William Somerset Mom's beautiful story, The Kite. Can we read the story as a study of Oedipus complex? That definite Oedipus theory and how it can be explained uh, or how the story can be explained through it or how the story is not Oedipal in that concept. Let's find out the answer from our discussion. But first, let's learn what is Oedipus complex. The name of the Oedipus has been borrowed from the classical story of King Oedipus who unknowingly married his own mother and had children by her. The psychologist Sigmund Freud and other, other use the term Oedipus complex for a manifestation of infantile sensuality in the relations of the child to its parents. It is uh, a kind of mental state in which the person shows excessive affection for the parents opposite in sex to him or herself and corresponding distance from other. A great part of the character's life is actually controlled by this subconscious desires and passions over which he or she has no control over it. So, the theorem of Oedipus complex, which is from uh, Greek mythological story, is obsessive love for opposite sex and it ensues from parents. So the Oedipus theory simply can be told that uh, excessive love for mother or possessive kind of love for mother and corresponding hatred for father. Uh, there is uh, counter another theory of the same complexity is called Electra complex when um, the daughter and father relationship has been in such in conditions. The Kite by Somerset Mom is a study of particular psychological theories. Now you can study that psychological theory here in this story with reference to particular characters. Now if you take the central theme of this story, um, we can read it as Oedipal. If we examine it with all its ramifications, we can find out the storyline that is based on the primal relationship between Mrs. Beatrice, uh, Mrs. Beatrice Sanbury and her son Herbert. Here is uh, replete with psychological truths revealing attitudes, situations and kind of emotional states. But from psychological point of view and from literary point of view, from both this point of view, we have to be liberal in our understanding the storyline and we have to find out if there is any way The over possessive mother here, Mrs. Beatrice exercises her an unhealthy influence on the emotional development of the growing boy. From the very early days, Mrs. Sanbury wishes to nurture her son self-centric and positive. I am drawing some hardened theories here. Her advice to her son is quite understandable. From, from the text I can quote, uh, she says, How Harvard? Do what I do. Keep yourself in yourself and don't have anything to do with them than you can help. Even she does not allow a single independent assertion on Harvard. So when Harvard is in 20 years of age, holding a steady job, Harvard's father Samuel Sansbury asks if Harvard to be get married. Mrs. Sanbury, that is Harvard's mother, reply to that question is very sharp and vicious. What she answers? She answers, I don't hold 
that a man marrying till he knows his own mind and a man does not know his own mind till he is 30 or 35 so such a typical negative response is obviously of a jealous mother unwilling to share her son with a wife and who is trapping the soul of her son am i holding the theory from sons and lovers it may be but here also mrs Beatrice is trapping the soul of her son and ruins his persona his personal life Harvard loves her mother almost like a mother lover the mother is very the axis and pole of his life the bond between his mother and her son deepens when they fly the kite as fancy and hobby almost like a ritualistic manner every saturday flying kites is like an imaginary escapism i can drag it as imaginary escapism from the monotony of life the soul of herbert is possessed by the mother figure that this kite flying is like nearing to the mother denying the rest of attraction if emotions are treated as manifestation of psychoanalysis or the psychic phenomena herbert's fatal attraction for the kite is called the psych of mother fixation so love to mother a kind of positive love to mother and obsessive love to mother is mother fixation and obviously the storyline proves so on the other hand herbert's love for betty and his choice of getting married to her is a desperate attempt to free himself from the excessive attachment to his mother but he cannot give to Betty what he has already given to his mother. Thus, what it results, the terrible and torturing conflict within him and Harvard is victim of it. Like Mrs. Morel in Lawrence Sons and Lovers, Mrs. Sunbury is jealous of her daughter-in-law. Mrs. Sunbury dislikes Betty, her daughter-in-law who will suck her son's soul and leave nothing for her not like her and wishes to break up their relationship in the dark shadow of the mother image that comes between paul's relationship with miriam in sons and lovers can have its parallel to herbert and betty relationship like paul herbert is incapable of satisfactory sexual adjustment going to his mother fixation in fact when we find the story kite if the story has been retold to the author by another person so the storyline and its interpretation is open-ended the theory of Oedipus in Harvard if there is has weakened and stunted emotionally and the relationship is now ruined in the kite the whole story is given a symbolic significance to flying a kite it is an act of affectionate attachment even it is not a plaything rather than an extension of battery's control over her song after the marriage what Betty objects and reveals against is Herbert's flying of the kite on Saturdays with his parents. She dislikes this childish act, warns Herbert from doing this silly favor. But Herbert's fatal attraction for the kite is a string of mother fixation. Mrs. Sanbury pulls the thread of the kite 
Here what the kite is? Emotional attachment to take control over our song. When all the possible pleadings result in vain, Betty hacks down the kite which ultimately aggravates the situation. Herbert chooses the prison instead of providing the alimony to his wife. He is hurt. The massing of the kite is a kind of matricide for him. He cannot pardon her wife Betty from doing such an act. The entire complication of this story can thus be read through the Freudian complexes. Mom is an explorer of human relationship and in this story he has studied sex relationship from different angles. Mrs. Sanbury, Betty are both wrong in being too possessive. Both of them want the possession of the soul or the persona of the harbour. But satisfactory relationship result only when we recognize the otherness of the other individual. Successful adjustment would have resulted had these two women recognized that Harvard had a separate identity, separate identity with separate persona of his own, which can reach fulfillment in its own way. Mother fails to recognize this, so as Betty. And gradually, who is hurt most? Harbert. Harbert becomes the victim. Now, what I was going to tell you that the story like this is always critically appealing. It can be read as Freudian story, it cannot be read as Freudian story. There are different reasons for it and against it. In fact, in response to my article published on the same subject, one of my students raised certain objections. Now he questions, is it really Oedipal? I am stating what his argument is about. Though this particular story has been interpreted as Oedipal by many, but many think it can be more elaborately interpreted through the Freudian concept of OCD, Obsessive Compulsive Disorder. The story from very beginning lacks the essential aspects of Oedipus complex, it states, and that is the hatred for the father. In the Oedipal story, if there is a possessive love for mother, there should be corresponding hatred for father. But that part is missing, it's, it states. Throughout the story, nowhere Harvard shows such kind of hatred for Sanbori. Besides, Harvard was extremely addicted by the kite, not because it gave him a sense of freedom from uh, the monotonous way of life, as Harvard liked the way of living. It is fair argument not to shadow a story with the burden of theory as the author himself is not so certain about. Yet for argument's sake, I find such kind of theory of OCD uh, or the theory of anxiety disorder is in this story misfit. As far my knowledge is concerned, such disorder pops up when the person lives with anxiety, tension, and inner conflicts. But Harvard's compulsive neurosis is quite irreversible as he prefers to be jailed, which is a sadistic pleasure for him. He takes it as self-sacrifice for the obsession, the kite flying, an objective correlative of his love of young days of mama's boy. Again, dominating mother figure surely weakens his bond to his father and surely the mother's personality dominates in him. Reading through the text, in many ways the story looks Oedipal and in many ways it is even not. But reaching through the meaning of circumstances, I sometimes find the story as not an actual presentation of human behavior 
or the story is not based on facts so we cannot analyze a character human character from psychological point of view when the story is merely a story not from facts so it is open ended then you can take it as oedipal and if you wish you cannot take it but your argument should be syllogistic manner in logical manner so i think you have listened and understood the oedipal theory for and against it from the story of somerset mom's the kite like share comment and obviously subscribe to my channel to get this kind of post and if there is any question just pop up here ask me question i will try my best to give some answers bye bye